I love the dog. You love the dog. We all love the dog. But you're going to have to be prepared to eat the dog. <laughs> With director Mike Rianda admitting that Mitchell's vs. the Machines was heavily inspired by The Simpsons, it's not hard to believe the film was filled with a whole bunch of Easter eggs you've yet to discover. From pop culture references to hidden messages about the Mitchell's universe, you're in for a mind-blowing ride. Number 1. Bake with the Mitchells Naturally, in the beginning of the film, Linda Mitchell is trying to cope with sending her daughter off to college. So, what does she do the night before they head out on their road trip? Hey, to celebrate your last night, Katie Face Cupcakes! Ah! <laughs> Bake, of course. But not just any old baking. Linda makes cupcakes with Katie's face on them. While Katie's icing face looks a little… melted, you never say no to a good cupcake. Anytime I miss you, I'm gonna bake you and eat you. Which is why creators slyly added the recipe for the cupcakes in the ending credits of the film. Oh, I think that's a great idea. Number 2. Real Life Filmmakers Having a poster of Mount Rushmore in her bedroom would be very un -Katie like But what about a Mount Rushmore of directors? In the film, when we get to see the high effort Katie put into her application for film school in LA, we see a shot of her standing in front of a Mount Rushmore of directors, also known as her heroes. The directors in the shot are actually real filmmakers. If you look carefully, you'll spot Greta Gerwig, Celine Sciamma, Lynn Ramsey, and Hal Ashby. Mm -hmm. I think it might be a masterpiece. Number 3. Evil Robots In the Mitchells vs. the Machines, the main cyber threat comes from PAL, short for Predictive Algorithms Learning. It's AI technology that quickly becomes the main antagonist of the film. Scan those people for flaws. Weaker than a small bird. I've worked in 13 years. We most often get to see PAL as Katie's smartphone, which creepily resembles the iPhones and Google Pixels we carry around in real life. Many people have noticed that PAL resembles, acts, and sounds a lot like HAL, the AI antagonist in the classic film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Being Kate is obsessed with film, it's no surprise creators would add in this little reference or take inspiration from the popular sci fi film. Just because they're not perfect doesn't mean they can't get better. Yeah. Capable of change. We'll never get better, no matter what. Number 4. PAL will be back. Speaking of taking inspiration from films, The Mitchells vs. The Machines copies the iconic Hollywood scene almost identically. If you've ever watched The Terminator 2, then you'll probably remember this opening scene where a robot steps on a skull and crushes it. In The Mitchells vs. The Machines, we see a PAL robot step on a cell phone. There's no doubt creators took inspiration from the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Could the scene possibly be hinting PAL will be back? Like a Mitchell sequel? Fingers crossed! What? That was amazing, Dad. Number 5. A Real Life Restaurant When the Mitchells start off on their road trip, they pass a billboard, which to the average viewer probably doesn't mean much. But that also means it's hard to miss. So next time you're watching, pause here. You'll see the billboard is an ad for the restaurant Redimax. Whoa, is this real or? If you're from Michigan, you'll know that Redimax is an actual restaurant in New Buffalo. While it was super popular in the 60s and 70s, it has remained pretty prominent as a Michigan diner in the present as well and apparently in the Mitchells vs. the Machines universe. Number 6. Meaningful Numbers being the amateur filmmaker that she is, Katie has a tendency to record everything, or in YouTube terms, vlog. You know, you can experience things a whole lot better without that camera. This is how I experience things. You never know when you'll capture good content. During the third act of the film, during one of Katie's filming moments, the date on the camera is September 24, 2020. If you do a little digging into the background of the film, you discover that September 24, 2020 is the date the Mitchells vs. the Machines was completed. Pretty cool, right? Number 7. License Plates A lot happens at the dino convenience stop in the Mitchells vs. the Machines. Can anyone say robot invasion? But amongst the chaos is a small detail you may have missed. At one point, we get a direct view of two license plates that read Mike and Jeff. Not so coincidentally, the writers and directors of the Mitchells vs. the Machines are named Michael Rianda and Jeff Rowe. Number 8. Mall of America with a Spin if you thought the Mall of the Globe that the Mitchells stopped at in Colorado looked and sounded familiar, you weren't wrong. The Mall of the Globe is based on the Minnesota staple Mall of America. Although, we're willing to bet the Mall of America is a lot busier than the Mall of the Globe during a robot takeover. Number 9. Burger Over Murder 
Katie has an array of short films she made from a child right up to films she created for her college application. One of the films the audience sees a clip from is her big dial B for Burger, starring Monchi the Pug, truly the star of the film. The short film is based on and named after a popular Alfred Hitchcock film, Dial M for Murder. Number 10. Rise of the Furbyzilla. What's a Furby? <laughs> Who knew this would be the way the popular 90s toy, Furbies, would make a comeback? The film uses a 90s robot as a ploy for the AI takeover by introducing a new PAL chip Furbies can use to summon their leader and escape any owner, or help with the robot apocalypse. The creators haven't mentioned why they chose the Furby as their toy of choice, but maybe it's something to do with their already general creepy appearance. Number 11. Some Strange Love when we first see Katie in the car at the beginning of the road trip, she's wearing a patch that reads, Hi there! This is a direct reference to the Stanley Kubrick film, Dr. Strangelove, and the line on the patch is one of the most famous lines of the entire film. Number 12. The New 007 Just because Katie and her father don't see eye to eye on a lot of things throughout the film, when the affection the two actually feel for one another slips through. Like when Katie compared her father to pop culture hero James Bond when he shows off his stick shift driving skills. You're like a top heavy James Bond. It's more like James Bond is a skinny version of me. Yes, you could call him Rick, Rick Mitchell. Number 13, except with robots. When the Mitchells pull up to the Mall of the Globe, it's so empty you could probably hear crickets. Of course, for Katie, she compares the empty parking lot to the scene of a popular zombie classic. Oh my gosh, this is like dawn of the dead. Which in theory is pretty much what's happening. Just think AI robots instead of the living dead. Hurry up in there, little buddy. Every time you knock, it adds five minutes. Come on, end of the world. Number 14, a familiar pattern. Stanley Kubrick may not be on Katie's Mount Rushmore of directors, but that doesn't mean she doesn't fangirl over his work. In fact, there's more proof that she's a Kubrick fan, or at least a fan of The Shining. Do you know the shot where Katie is imagining herself as the Columbia Picture statue? She's wearing socks, and the pattern matches the carpet of The Shining's Overlook Hotel perfectly. Number 15. Who you gonna call? In good old Katie fashion, one of her ways of disagreeing with her father is by bringing in some movie references. When her dad decides that the best course of action for fighting an AI uprising is to do nothing, her comeback involves the plot of a very popular 80s film. What the Ghostbusters said, you know what, let's hide underground, let the ghosts destroy New York. It's too bad the Ghostbusters weren't around to help with the uprising. Well, I guess this is it. What do you think of these Mitchells vs. the Machines Easter eggs? I gotta admit, this is actually amazing. Did you notice any other Easter eggs that we didn't cover? Or any other notable pop culture references? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching The Things Animated.